Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the right side of the screen, you see a question. I were told to reproduce this figure in isometric projection. Now, the first thing you do when you the word isometric projection is for you to draw your isometric axis, like you draw the vertical line representing the Y. You draw the inclined line representing the Z and this one here representing the X axis this way. Right? Now, let me take it up a little bit. Now, if you look at the entire length here, from here to here is the same thing as seen from here to here and given to be what 60 right we're given our entire length here to be what 60 so i am going to measure 60 from this point here from 0 to 60 is my reference point so from 0 to 60 Can you see that? And the entire height is given to be this, and that is what? 35, right? So I'm going to measure the height to be 35. So from 0 to 35. Right? And um, we have the width, which is given from here to here. I think they are saying from this point. To this point which is 30 plus 8 and that will be what 38 are we together so let's do that <coughs> so 38 from 0 to 38 this 30 and 38 now i'm going to project this point upward in this manner from this up from this up from this and from this then here too the same thing and here Can you see that? So I'll have to enlarge it a little bit. This is what we have. Now if you look at this, from here to here, is from here to here, and it is ticking. So I'm going to tick in the aspect. You can see that? Similarly, from here to here, is from here to here, and it is also what? Ticking. And I'm going to take in the aspect also. You can see that. And also from here to here is also ticking, which is from here to here. I'm going to also take in that aspect also. Right? From here. Can you see that? And similarly, from here to here is from here to here is also ticking. I'm going to take the aspect too. Can you see that? Now, the thickness from here to here is eight, which is from here to here. So I'm going to measure it, and I'm going to thicken it. So from zero here. Yeah, to it. So with the help of just taking it once and for all, and with the help of my T square and C square, it is sticking to the end in here as you can see from the diagram. So I'm going to take it this way. Hope you can see that. Then also here is sticking too. 
I hope you can see that. Similarly, from here to here is also 8, which is from here to here. So I'm going to measure another 8 here, which I am going to take in from 0 to 8 here, right? And I'm going to take in it. So with the help of my instrument, it is ticking to the other end here, just like the first one. Right, and I'm going to close it up here. Hope you can see that. Then from here to here is extended, which is from here to here. I'm going to use my rule. Now we join from here to here. Similarly, the other M2 is also joined together from here to here. Hope you can see that. Then the thickness from here to here is from here to here, and then and also from here to here also, which is giving its millimeter. So I'm going to measure it from here, from 0 to 8, which is here. And also from here also, from 0 to 8, which is here. And also at the top too, you measure it up and down, from here too, from 0 to 8, which is here. And also from here to from zero to eight, which is here. Then I use my meter rule, and I'm going to join from this point to this point straight, and I also join from this point to this point straight. Thank you. See that? Then I'm going to draw my line down this way from here. Print line. Let's take this. This is your T square. As I can see what I'm doing. Then you bring this down fit line. Right? And from here, you take this in too, as you can see, without taking it since it's ticking to touch the other line. Then here too. I'll take it upward. And I'll take it also. Hope you can see that. Then I'll take it in to the other side also here. Like this. So you can see that. Now outside that, there's something in between here. And it says from this end here, which is the end my arrow is pointing, to somewhere around this 10 millimeter to this this distance here, will give me the center of that figure. So what I'll do is I will just measure it this way from here from 0 to 60 right from 0 to what to 30 sorry from 0 to 30 here i'm going to draw my center line in this fashion you must place it on your t-square you see what i'm doing so I'll just take it in, faint line first, and I will extend it up to this way too, faint line too. You can see that? Now the other one, <clears throat> I'm going to measure 15 upward from here to the center 15, which will be from here to somewhere around here. I'm going to measure 15. So this is the 15 here, from 0 to 15. Then I'm going to close it up here. Can you see that? Now the tick, the circular figure that is here, the circular, the rectangular or square shape that is here, is given to be. Um, we are told it is. Um, let's see. It is given as ten. The square in front of the ten means is a square. 10 millimeter all around. So what I will do is 
I'm going to take my meter rule or I can take my compass and I'll measure six in all direction. This way. Take your com your compass on your meter rule. This is the twelve. Just measure six from here to here. Right? And you place it at the center here. Can you see that? You mark six here. And also you mark six here. And also you mark six here. And also you mark six here. I hope you can see that. Then you take your instrument to this point and you draw your line across. From here to do the same thing. Then you turn it this way around. You close it up now taking it. Come here too. See that? And you close it up too. Now you close it up too. Look, you can see that. And at this point here, which is where my arrow is pointing, you bring this down. Straight line. On that line, you're going to measure what? The thickness of this, which is giving us eight, you see, from here to here, it's taking eight, right? I'll come from here and I'll mark here eight. Hope you can see that. And that is where I'm going to take this from here, take it this way, and from here, take it this way. Then from here, take it in. Hope you can see that. Now the next one is the one up here, right? You can see. Now to get to that center of that point, I'll measure 12 millimeter from the base here. So if I'm measuring that 12, this is where it will be situated from zero. 10, 11, 12. This is where it is, 12. That's where the center will be. And I'll take my meter rule, my T square, and I'll draw the line across that point this way. Can you see that? Now the thickness, the height here is given to be what 10, meaning that I'm going to measure 5 millimeter up and 5 millimeter down. Right? So my meter rule, I'll measure 5 millimeter this way. From zero to five. Can you see that? And I'll place it at the center here. I'll measure five up and I'll measure five down. That is where I'm going to draw my horizontal line this way. And here to this way. Now at this point here, I'll measure it since it's given thickness there, you can see it's 22. The length, so I'll measure 11 to the left and 11 to the right. So I can actually take my instrument here and place it here this way. Can you see that? And I'll just measure this is 11 here, and this is also 11 here, which I can easily just take in automatically. Then I'll bring it down this way. Then at this corner here, I'll take it in a little bit this way. It's going through, which I also measure the distance of it from here to here. This is it. And I'll place it here. And I'll mark. Can you see that? So at that point, I'm going to not take it in this way. And take it in up or this way as shown in the diagram. Then let's measure this way. Can you see that? 
so this is what we have i have uh, successfully reproduced the figure that you can see at the right hand side of the screen so if you have found it helpful please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and also share the video thanks for watching